immediately do this ABC, and today I'm go have going over another tutorial for you guys. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make split screen game in Game Maker. Now that this is used very often in video games. It is very good for adding social aspects to the video game, which makes it spread quicker since it applies to more people. So let's get started. We're going to give you one swipe for this one. SPR player, and it's going to make it a square block. So it's going to fill it in black. There you go. Now to add a background, we're going to need a background that is not repeating so that we can get an idea of where each player is in the room and we can know whether it works or not. So let's see, which one should we add? I'll add one of my um, English year levels. What the heck? So this is 640 by 520. I'll turn that in my room. So let's create our first object. Actually, it's called OJP1 Player 1. So instead of that, we're going to control its movement. It's going to have it standard up, r left, right, down. No platform or anything that would make things a little too complicated. So I've tied this a million times. I'm just going to speed it up, and you can follow it if you want. All right, that's all for that. This one, I forgot since right. Sorry. I'm going to duplicate this for OBJ P2. And I'm just going to change it on the controls over here, so I'm going to set the numpad control. Alright, so I got the keyboard set up for this one. Now, let's go to a room. So let's, first off, I want to make the room bigger. So the size for our background is 620 by 540, but I'm going to double these values so that it won't mess up the background. And we'll be separated, like we can easily separate them within the room and proof that our few thing works. All right, so I added both, both dudes in there. I'm going to add our background, and I want it to stretch, not tile. Okay, and then let's the part the views. This is what you came to this tutorial for. Okay, so I got enable use of views, and the visible in your room starts. Okay, so we want our port on the screen to be 640 by 480. And we want the left side of this port to be the player one's view. So the then we need to make this um, the width of that port by half, and it needs to be in the upper left corner, so y equals zero, y equals zero is fine. I want to follow OBJ player one, and let's make these values somewhat large so that um, it'll pan with it very well. Alright, so go to this, on the second view. This one also needs to be room starts. It'll be the same dimension, but this one needs to be in the center of the port, so we're going to take 320 and port is the same. Oh, sorry, this needs to be 320 because it's this is what's I was going to have on the screen. Sorry, forgot. And V1 needs to follow player 2, and we're going to make these values somewhat large. Okay, so there you have it. Let's test it out, and hopefully I didn't mess up. And it turns out I did. For V1, this needs to be 320 right here. Sorry, I, I, I messed it up. It needs to be 320. Alright, so, so there you have it. It's not a very smooth transition between the two, but if you make your own game, you can worry about that. So. There, it's moving around the, the view fine. This guy is too. Now let's see if we can find each other. Um, oh look, here we are. So we're part of the same world. Different views. It works. Alright, I've had this summit on my list for a long time, but I haven't gotten around to doing it because no one suggested to me, so I didn't have much of a priority. So. But now split screen's off the list. And as you see, I got a whole bunch of treats for you guys in, in the future. That's all. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, and for the for the challenge for today, my make is a four player split, split screen. See see if you can do that. All right, so thank you guys for watching. See you guys next week, I guess.